Given the uh, figures uh, and the distress caused by this government in relation to both health services and housing provision, uh, it's really shocking to just read the figures again in relation to the Department of Health and that yet again they have a supplementary estimate plus other funding of almost half a billion in terms of how the Minister for Health has failed to fulfil his responsibility and notwithstanding the fact that the total expenditure on health is now around 17 billion, uh, the services that people on the ground in our crowded hospitals, the children without pain relief and the multiple other problems that afflict the health service, this government has, seems to have no competence in addressing it. On the Children's Hospital, we know the vast overruns that have been entertained by the government uh, have actually caused complete dysfunction in other areas of the health sector which now lack uh, vital funding. Can I just say as well, it's been incredible uh, the fact that in the budget this year, notwithstanding the amount of spending listed there, there was no increase in pensioners' income for next year, no increase in the retirement pension, no increase in invalidity payments to people on invalidity, no increase in the blind person's allowance. I could name 28 social welfare payments which saw no increase by this government. There were four or five small changes in relation uh, to social welfare and other uh, weekly payments. In fact, it's an astonishing failure of performance. And don't, don't think that pensioners and other social welfare recipients won't forget it, particularly when you're talking in stellar terms, constantly, particularly by the Taoiseach, of statistics which basically says we are the third richest nation in the world. We are the country with probably the most money in Europe, and yet we can't pay five euros a week to increase social welfare payments. That really, really is uh, distressing. And it is the first time, by the way, that that's happened since around 2014. There was a very clear resumption of social welfare increases, including the restoration of the Christmas bonus, which Fianna Fáil had abolished. So I just want to ask the Minister, we still haven't received any serious explanation in accounting terms, and the Minister is coming in here with the government accounts, in accounting terms, for uh, the way in which the 24 million paid to airlines in relation to airline taxes was refunded to them and was included as consultancy fees. Could the Minister please explain uh, if, if he has a full explanation as to how such a misstatement of accounting information was put into the uh, supplementary estimates and the explanations? I still haven't heard one that satisfies me. I, and speaking as somebody who's worked in the accounting field, I have to confess, I no longer really believe the health accounts. I don't believe them. And IFAC didn't disagree with me when we discussed that a week ago. Can I just say, this is in stark contrast. I was in the Phoenix Park last night with the OPW, who spent with Fall to Ireland 400,000 on a consultancy exercise in relation to the park, that repeated one that had been done previously, and added nothing new to what we know about the Phoenix Park and its protection and its significance. While up the road, up the road, in Mulhothered Community Centre, there's a group of workers who are paid uh, funds uh, to, uh, their, for their salaries, which are contributed uh, by, um, the, uh, by, by Pubble. Now, they will not pay them the minimum wage, 
and we've no explanation as to why Pubble as an entity is not funded to ensure that community workers who are working hard in local communities are not paid at least the minimum wage. Minister, can you answer me that? Up the road further in Hunstown and Hartstown, a sum of roughly 300,000 would enable absolutely essential Thank fire you, repairs works to be done. Instead, we have the OPW and Falter Ireland able to spend 400,000 on consultancy, we don't know why, on the Phoenix Park, Thank while you. up the road vital community centres and crashes may be closed because this government can't find the way to fund Pubble to actually fund the necessary oh, works for fire safety purposes in both community centres. That's the incompetence of this government. And to be perfectly honest, people... You know, people just Please, can't sure. understand the sums and yet the failure to deliver by the government. Well, Margaret, uh,